Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to be clearing up some things about the incident out of Dallas where an off-duty police officer shot and killed a man in his own apartment. I've had hundreds of people email me, tag me, send me messages on every social media platform that I operate on telling me about this story and asking me to make a video on it, and I didn't yet because no one really knew dick about the situation and there was tons of lies and speculation going around. Every activist and their mothers are trying to place blame on race and police officers for this incident. I hate to tell you, Sean King and Lee Merritt and all you other activist clowns that the officer was off duty and it had absolutely nothing to do with her being a big old mean racist slave patrol pig. So what exactly happened the night of September 6th? Before we get into it, let me remind you that I wasn't there, you weren't there, and all these idiots making up shit on the internet were not there. We're going to be reading from official affidavits, police reports, and other news sources. You can check all these sources in the description below. On September 6th, Dallas police officer Amber Geiger had just gotten off of a 14-hour shift and headed home to her apartment building. Instead of parking on the third floor of the parking garage, which is directly adjacent to her apartment, she accidentally parked on the fourth floor and walked walked to the apartment that she believed to be her own. 26-year-old Botham Jean's apartment was directly above hers. According to the affidavit that was used to obtain arrest warrants for the officer on Sunday, she walked up to the door, tried to use her card access key on the door. The door was not completely shut, so the door opened. 26-year-old Botham Jean heard his door open and then got up to go investigate. According to the affidavit, Officer Geiger saw the silhouette of a person who she believed to be in her apartment, drew her firearm, and started issuing commands. According to Officer Geiger, her commands were ignored, so she fired her weapon twice striking Jean once. The affidavit goes on to state that it wasn't until she was already on the phone with 911 when she switched the lights on, then realized it was not her apartment. Jean was transported to the hospital where he later died. Texas Rangers then took over the investigation so it could be as independent as possible, and on Sunday, they obtained an arrest warrant for manslaughter for Officer Geiger. Officer Geiger surrendered to the Kaufman County Sheriff's Department on Sunday and was released two hours later on a $300,000 bond. The district attorney says that the investigation is still ongoing and it will be presented to a grand jury where well, they will decide if more charges are necessary for Officer Geiger. Multiple sources say that the two did not know each other. What else? What else? Oh, the attorney for the victim's family is none other than race-baiting liar, liar, pants on fire, Lee Merritt. The Wall Street Journal also says that Gene's death has renewed calls for policing reform, and I have no idea how or why. I don't think that this is a case of racism or police brutality. I think it's more of a very, very awful, tragic screw-up on the officer's part. So that's all the information I know about the incident everyone this is everything i can find right now and i'm about to jump on my stream at twitch.tv slash donut operator if you want to come hang out and we can talk about it further or talk about some other incidents that took place this weekend let me know your thoughts on this incident in the comments below i know there's a lot of rumors and speculation going on about this but this this is what i can find from the official sources i also just want to say i hope all of you are staying safe this hurricane is about to hit south and north carolina there's been mandatory evacuations today or what police officers like to think of it as glorious glorious overtime the grocery stores are sold out of bread and milk so people can make their milk sandwiches. I don't know why the two most perishable items in the grocery store are the first to be balled up by people worrying about not having power, but that's the way the world works. Everybody, please have a fantastic day.